Welcome back to Football Manager Experiments. It's been way too long since my last FM experiment, probably at the start of this year in fact. Um, I started this series about 18 months ago and I've never really made as many as I should have done. I've created a fair few videos, they're all here for those interested, I'll put the playlist in the description below. But today's an interesting one. Um, I'm going to be tracking the career of Martin Odegaard, the um, Norwegian wonder kid who has been making headlines lately, especially as he's recently played a couple of games for the full Norwegian squad at the age of 15. Now originally he wasn't on FM15 simply because if you're under 16 as a real player before uh, when, the, when the game is released if you're under 16 then um, you're not allowed to be on the game unless you get special permission. But as it happens, yesterday uh, his dad sent a message via this player I presume uh, to Miles Jacobson who's the um, director at Sports Interactive giving him permission to put his son onto the game and that is what they have done um, Sports Interactive have put some, uh, him on the uh, Steam Workshop so make sure you check that out you have to install it well subscribe and then it's installed into your game and then start a new save and then when you load up a new save just make sure the editor this uh, editor uh, database is selected and then you've got him on your game I assume in the January transfer update they will be formally put him in, putting him into the game but we shall see anyway I'm gonna holiday the game this is a simple FM experiment I haven't really had to do anything um, but I thought it was a good one to start with simply because it's quite simple and we can just see how SI have decided he should be on the game. Obviously every game's different but we're going to see just on an average save without me doing anything to it by just holidaying it. Where does he end up? Does he become a wonder? Well he's a wonder kid. Does he become a world class player like Messi or Ronaldo? Um, he's an attacking midfielder but can play on the right or in central midfield as well so he's quite versatile in that sense. Anyway this is him now Good stats at the age of 15, very impressive really. Some of you may think, hey, he looks a bit average, but he's 15 years old, so it's cr quite incredible. So I'm going to holiday at the first season. In this part one, I'm going to go up to when he's about 23 or 24, and then probably do a part two after that to see where he ends up, up to the age of about 30. Just to split it out a bit, um, otherwise this video might be quite long. So at the end of the first season he has in fact moved on from Norway and moved to Young Boys where he has managed to accumulate two caps for Norway Norway already and he's worth 3.5 million only earning £400 a week currently. Um, let's see how he got on at Strom's Gazette, not really sure how to pronounce that, um, but here he is before moving to Young Boys on a free. I assume there must have been some sort of compensation package, but I don't, well maybe there isn't under a certain age. I'm not really sure about that. Anyway, he managed to get two assists in the six appearances in the league in the Swiss Super League. Uh, Basel won the league. They in fact finished third in 2014, but didn't finish in the top three. I can't see the entire thing as I haven't loaded the all the leagues up. That would be a bit ridiculous. Loaded the main ones up for future reference if he goes to a really big team. Um, for the under-21s, he also played a few games. So, that's him at the age of 16. He's improved already. Looks very good. His pace and acceleration have gone up by one. Dribbling, first touch gone up slightly. Very good agility, very good determination and flair. So, let's see where he is at the end of the second season. So he's still at Young Boys, once again he's improved, he's now got 8 caps for Norway and 621 caps, he's worth 7 million, he's earning almost 9k a week now. Uh, contract is ending in 2 years, so perhaps they move on at the end of next season, if they want to cash in on him, or he may just leave on a free in a couple of seasons. But he looks very, very good, for a 17 year old he's insane. Last season, not the best average rating, just under 6.9, which is what you want to get, really. But a couple of goals and four assists and one man of the match. Let's see where, if they managed to finish in the top three this time they did. They managed to finish third behind Grasshoppers and Basel, who dominate that division. Uh, what else can we see? 
obviously I can't see reports for him. I I don't have a I can't actually scout him. I don't need to. I can see um, all his attributes anyway. I selected that option. So it's either footed as well, which is always a bonus. 176 centimeters tall, 69 kilograms in weight. So yeah, um, at the end of this video, I will look at sort of um, Champions League and that sort of thing for those interested. But um, Norway are up to 32nd in the world since Odegaard's come into the team. They've actually gone up a bit. Well, they went down initially, but have managed to rise to about 32nd, which is good. So at the end of the third season, he's now 18, which is crazy. He's only 18, not three seasons three. But he's moved to Atletico Madrid. He's now got two goals in 16 games for Norway. And he's worth 14.25 million. And he's earning 50k a week at the age of 18. It's crazy. I was probably getting like 50p a week from my Saturday job or wherever I was working. Anyway, um, he moved for 8.25 million at the, um, I guess, start of last season. Managing to score nine goals and six assists in 27 league appearances. 7.31 average rating. That's very, very good. And he also played in Europe. Um, not sure if it was the Euro Cup or the Champions League. We will have a quick look as to where they managed to finish. Uh, they managed to finish third last season, which is very good. Real Madrid were champions. If we just go to their schedule and go back a season, then we can see how they did overall, how they performed. They were in the Champions League. They lost in the first knockout round to Man United. Can't seem to click on this competition for some reason. Barcelona won the final against Juventus, for those of you that are interested. Uh, let's see who's won it. So Real Madrid 2014, of course, they won it in 2015 as well. Then it was Juventus, then Barcelona. This is the Atletico Madrid squad. They currently have Frank Rijkaard in charge. And where's Odegaard? He's actually... Has he moved down to the under-21s or am I blind? Under-19s. I think I, I'm just blind here. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Of course, he's in the in the first team. So... Yeah, his attributes have once again gone up. He looks incredible for an 18-year-old. He's going to completely blitz this, isn't he? So, yeah. Lots of money. His contract ends in five years. So if someone wants to come in for him now, it's going to cost a hell of a lot of money. He's got a minimum release clause of 58 million, and I can see someone spending that, to be fair. Chelsea, Man City, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, they can all afford that, and they will come in, surely, at some point to get him. So it'll be interesting to see where he is at the end of the fourth season. Still at Atletico Madrid at the age of 19. Four goals in 21 games for Norway. Worth 20 million now. And looks insane. His mental attributes are very, very good for that age group. And oh, it looks like it's rose to 10.75 million as fee in the end. But last season, nine goals in 31 games in the league and three assists, three man of the matches, 7.24 average rating. Played very well in every other competition as well. Um, let's just have a look at how Atletico Madrid last, did last season in the cup competitions. So they managed to win. Oh, they got to the semi-final of the Spanish Cup losing against Real Madrid and they got to the first knockout round once again. This time they lost against Man City. So that's a bit unfortunate. They only finished down in uh, fourth place this season behind Granada in third. Real Madrid once again won the league. Have they won every single season? They have indeed. Well done to them. And of course, he's wanted by Man City. So will he move there? I'm going to holiday a few years ahead now, uh, just to end this video when he's sort of in his early 20s, rather than go every single season and just see how he does that. Might get a bit boring, but we're we'll holiday a bit and then wrap this video up. But there will be a part two, like I said. So he's managed to resist the temptations of other teams. Um, his contract has been extended to 2026, he's of course still with Atletico Madrid. Um, he's got 17 goals in 49 games for Norway at the age of 23. 
arguably you could say he should have more, but I guess Norway don't play in the uh, major tournaments very often. He's earning over 100k a week. He's worth 30.5 million. Looks insane. But I wouldn't say he is exceptional. He's looks well actually he is. But he's not I wouldn't say he's as good as a Messi looking at that. He's not is he? Um Let's go to his information, see if he's classified as a world class player. No, his media description is flamboyant midfielder. He sports Liverpool apparently. Um yeah, continental reputation, so it's not world class yet. But he does look amazing. But it's strange that he hasn't moved on. Um, Atletico Madrid, of course, are a huge team. And he's done very well over the seasons. His average ratings regularly, well, it's always above 7, always above 7.1 at least. And he scored a fair number of league goals. And I mean, that season he managed to get 16 in all competitions. And 15 in the last one that we just saw. So let's see if they eventually have managed to win the league with Odegaard in their team. Um, so Real Madrid, Real Madrid, Real Madrid. They've won it every single season. <laughs> there. So Atletico finished fifth that season. And then down in eighth. But then they managed to finish second. And last season down in 7th so it's been topsy-turvy for them but not particularly good the last few years let's see if they've actually managed to win any competitions lately no oh they won no third place in La Liga they haven't oh no of course that was the real life no they haven't won anything since Odegaard's been here unfortunately which is disappointing so I don't know why he stayed there but he still wanted but he's by Arsenal and Sampdoria this time. How is Sampdoria doing? Maybe they've sort of got a new owner or flying up the table. They are. Oh, they actually won it last season. That's why. Maybe. Oh, they've won it a couple of times. They've been very good and they save first a couple of times. That's why they're interested in him. Of course, Arsenal always going to be interested in a player like this. So, that's the end of part one. In terms of looking at Odegaard, we'll just look at some of the um, world rankings. There. They're up to 18th now, which is very impressive. Who's top? France are top, Holland, Brazil. I suppose we should look at the World Cup and see who's won it recently. So France beat England in the final of the 2022 World Cup. Who's this? This must be a regen. Yep, it is. It looks pretty good. Oxley chamberlain also scoring. So who won the last competition? So Colombia won 2018. That's brilliant to see. Absolutely brilliant. I like that. Um, Neymar was top scorer at the last World Cup. So did Norway actually get to the final? Uh, yeah, the World Cup finals. Let's have a quick browse. In um, where well, we want to go to the uh, group stages, don't we? So here they are. Congo got to the. The finals and Norway here can't see Norway unfortunately they doesn't look like they got to the uh, finals Colombia beat Germany in the 2018 World Cup final with Norway at this one Belgium Australia Croatia no I don't think they were unless they're at the bottom here heading away no. So let's look at the Euros. So Belgium won it in 2016, which is very good to see. Um, and Germany won it in 2020 against Belgium in the final. So unlucky there, actually. If we just go to 2016, they beat France in the final. Origi and Olderwald with the goals. Despite a red card as well. So very impressive performance that. Let's just have a look at the group stages if Norway managed to get there surely they did there's a lot of more teams in it now Norway are there they finished third behind Greece and Germany in 2016 and then in 2020 where did they finish I assume they got <laughs> to the finals considering there's more teams well, well no there's there's less teams in this one is there I'm a bit confused I thought there was going to be more but it doesn't look like they even made it to the 2021 
Cyprus, Switzerland, Russia. No, Northern Ireland. Did they finish bottom of their group? So there we go, guys. Uh, Odegaard has improved. But will he end up at a really, really big team at some point? I hope so. I'd, well, Atletico Madrid are a huge team. But someone like Barca, Man City, with all the money, uh, you know, a big English team, Liverpool, Arsenal, Man United, Chelsea, Arsenal. Did I say Arsenal? Probably. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching this. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed it. And i curious to see how his career pans out in the future. If you want me to do a part two, please leave a like when it gets fair number of likes I will record part two and then upload it so yeah and please subscribe if you haven't done so already if you've got any questions just leave them in the comment section below and I'll reply see you guys